Hello, cooking enthusiasts. This week's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually launching a little Kickstarter project, so you can check out that link in the video description. The project I would like to pitch to you centers around experimenting with a recently isolated form of yeast. Of course, the standard yeast for making beverages and food is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, but what I would like to work with is a species known as Pichia pluveri. For the sake of simplicity, I'll be referring to it as PK yeast. It was originally discovered as sort of a wild secondary yeast in New Zealand winemaking. When isolated, however, it has some very interesting properties. Primarily that it produces very low amounts of alcohol, but very high quantities of secondary flavor compounds. As of recording this video, there is currently only one company selling this isolated form of PK yeast, but they are selling it in massive quantities intended for large wineries. So my hope with this project is to sort of take a first step in the world of hobbyists. The goal is very moderate, $600 Canadian, and I'll be putting pretty much all of that to buy the industrial quantity of this particular yeast. Once I have it, I can start playing around with it for both beverages and fermented foods. My plan is to do at least one cider or other fruit-based fermentation, probably in combination with other yeast, and then going into maybe incorporating it into sourdough, ginger beer, in general, just like a fermented soda, and then using it in a multi-step fermentation project for products like kimchi and other forms of pickles. My hope is to even send out some samples of the yeast to other friends and acquaintances that do fermentation online. If myself and others are able to show interesting results on a small scale, maybe some of these companies will make it more available at a hobbyist level. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch and let me know. It's a purposefully very small project, so if I do reach my goal, I will be making at least five videos documenting the experiments. So if you are interested, please consider contributing a small amount or even just sharing this project. Be sure to follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter for more frequent updates. Otherwise, thank you for watching.